On Wednesday, during a House Oversight Committee hearing on whether to hold Hunter Biden in contempt of Congress, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene couldn't help but bring back photos of Hunter Biden's penis. Showing Point proof, of, of, uh, proof of Man okay. Act violations. Uh, um, Democrats should, should thank, not thank, be okay. offended by pictures uh, that Chairman, black out. Have things. I been recognized? Uh, they should be Objection. offended by parliamentary and trafficking. I just want to note that the lady on the left who's holding up that picture was probably thinking, what have I done? Like, is this the direction that I thought that my life would be taking, that I would be holding up a picture of uh, a censored picture of Hunter Biden's junk? Seriously? And look, I had to censor it more because of YouTube, even though there was already censor bars, but I got to be super careful, right? But basically... Green has once again brought revenge porn into the chamber just to show everybody for no reason at all. The Man Act violations. Are we talking about the Man Act? Are we talking about, is this a criminal trial of uh, Hunter Biden? Are you presenting evidence? What is this? There's no reason that Hunter Biden needs to be in front of Congress at all. This is all have to do with uh, their, you know, ridiculous, uh, you know, impeachment inquiry, uh, even though that they don't have any evidence that both Hunter Biden and Joe Biden did anything, at least the things that they were claiming that he has done, okay? This is Republicans harassing a private citizen for his own personal activities using stolen images and videos from his laptop. It's embarrassing. Why the hell are they spending time on this, okay? Why are, why are they out here showing what is essentially revenge porn? Are members allowed to simply put up sensationalistic, voyeuristic, pornographic images if they're not relevant to the actual object of the legislative proceeding. Yeah. I want a parliamentary ruling well, on that. Mr. Askin, that's probably part of the questioning for for Mr. Biden, violations of the Mann Act. Ms. Green's led on that issue. No, no, this is a these question are already, about the rules these of the already, These pictures have already been entered into the record. So in other words, you have accepted the idea that members can introduce irrelevant, sexually based, how, how, is this, how is this irrelevant? How is this irrelevant? Well, how is it relevant? You actually have to answer that first because it's your own side trying to bring this as evidence of something that is completely disconnected from what the hearing is actually supposed to be about. Look, they haven't shown any reason why this has to be taken up by Congress. If there is a law enforcement matter, then... Why not take it up with law enforcement? Let them take care of it. I'll answer that, of course. It's because they're obsessed. It, they're obsessed. It's their election strategy. Parade around pictures of Hunter's hog and get all the suburban moms riled up one way or the other. I mean, come on. Tally whacker. Tighten up my meat. I like my meat tight. Okay. N look, you know, I think he's going to have problems with that demographic when he runs. Oh, right. That's right. He's not running in an election because he's not an elected official. He's never been in part of government. And he's not trying to be in government. Why does this matter? Look, Republicans, I know they're so desperate to use Hunter Biden to attack his father. And it's actually, it's sick. Okay. Using, for example, his son's addiction. Okay. And bad decisions that he made on his own against his father, who has done everything he can to be supportive of his son. Using that against him is beyond effed up. It's got nothing to do with it. And again, I have my criticisms of Joe Biden. I have criticisms of Hunter Biden. But seriously, this does not belong in Congress. And by the way, it's also not to say that if Hunter Biden did break the law, that he shouldn't be held accountable for it. No, of course, we should. he should be held accountable. But what this is, is not holding anybody accountable. It is harassment, okay? Hunter Biden has uh, agreed to an open hearing, okay? A public hearing. Ask him any question, but you gotta do it in public, right? And he's offered, what, five, six times? And Republicans have turned him down every single time, except for when they said, oh, well, let's, we'll do a hearing, but it has to be closed door. Now, why do you want a closed door hearing? So they can lie about it and control the narrative. That's it. Now, social media weighed in on Marjorie Green, actually using the hashtag, and I love it, Marjorie Taylor Peen. Hmm. Jeff Hudson said, Hunter Biden's dick pics live rent-free in Marjorie Taylor Green's mind. Sexual anarchy. You can't prove it's not true. 
Okay. Uh, another person says, revenge porn in the house floor. So they stole his laptop, found some private photos on it, and think it's appropriate to broadcast that on the floor of the U.S. House of Representatives. MG MTG should be placed in cuffs for this for public indecency. Yeah, you, you are broadcasting it to people. And who knows, there could be minors watching. Another person asks, I just wonder what she does with those when she isn't on the house floor. You know what? Let's not wonder. It's better not to. It's better just not think about it. You know, maybe get a little brain bleach, clean those thoughts out. Yeah, no, not interested. <laughs> and then uh, finally, you're going to love this one. Uh, another person says, confirming Hunter does have balls. Well, now wait, what's that in reference to? This. For the epitome of white privilege, coming into the Oversight Committee, spitting in our face, ignoring a congressional subpoena to be deposed, what are you afraid of? You have no balls. Not true. Marjorie Green, she's got the pictures. She'll prove it. <laughs> if you want to see him, hell, even if you don't want to see him, she's probably going to show you anyway. Well, I do not consent. <laughs> I apologize for nothing. I concede nothing. That's Marjorie right there. I apologize for nothing. Look, no, but honestly, like, this is, understand, this is what Repub this is what Congress under Republican rule has become, under Republican leadership. <laughs> These people were voted into office to solve problems. Well, they haven't solved any problems. They just spent their time doing this. Remember that the next time you believe that these clowns should be anywhere near power.